Welcome back, friends. So today is something I've been wanting to do for a good long while. Uh, we're going to cut open a well-used RV water heater. So I'm going to show you around the water heater right quick, and then we're going to slice this thing open and see what's inside. Stay tuned. I want to start by thanking Jean Prophet. I think that's how you spell your, say your name, Jean. Uh, thank you. Uh, she hooked me up with this water heater. I was able to contact her through a local Facebook group and got this bad boy. So let's go over it a little bit. Uh, this one particular one is steel. So here you'd have your anode and your drain plug down here. This is your burner here. This is, uh, I think this is some type of thermostat uh, stuff up here. And this is your pressure relief valve. So I told Jean, hey, just hang on to the good parts. I just want the tank. Let's slice this sucker open. before we check it out this is a six gallon suburban uh, Jean had used this uh, almost full time for six years so uh, she, she told me that she would flush it once a year she replaced the anode about four or five times so she's maintained it well let's go inside and see how the inside looks okay here we go so here is the inside of this six-year-old very well used basically full-time use a uh, suburban water heater and it looks remarkably well in my opinion. Now I am no expert in water hardness and buildup that water can create. So let me know what some of this is in the comment section. I know the first thing we notice is there's some rust building at the drain. Um, Jean did mention that is why this tank was useless to her now is they couldn't quite fix the uh, drain plug. And you can see some rust starting to build up here. Now, a lot of this black stuff in here, that's from cutting the tank, so ignore that. But you do have some of this buildup here. It look, looks like maybe calcium buildup. Let me know in the comment section. A lot of you are a lot smarter than I am. It feels like very uh, soft limestone. Let me see if I can get you. Can you zoom in on that, bro? Take a look at that. Um, are you zoomed in? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what that is, but I, mean, I can crumble it fairly easy with my fingers. So let me know what that is in the comment section. And then back here, um, I got a little chopstick pointer. The, I'm gonna guess this is gonna be a little slimy when it's wet. There's some buildup back here. I can kind of scrape it a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if that's, it doesn't look like rust. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is either. Again, a lot of you guys will know in the comment section. We've got some significant rust buildup up here at the pressure release valve. You probably can't see that because of our angle, but um, yeah, there's some significant rust up there. More build up here, a lot, a lot more of that limestone feeling calcium. I'm guessing it's calcium build up on the actual heater. If you don't know, your propane actually warms this, this, this cylinder here, and that's what warms your water up, okay? If you weren't sure how that worked. But yeah, I mean, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Obviously, it's painted on the inside with a protectant. This is significant buildup back here. But I would say for full-time use, six years old, I think this looks really good. So kudos to Suburban. And I'm gonna tell you, this steel is, uh, is legit. It took me a second to cut through this thing. So Brooke, if you wanna pan over to yeah, the other I side. Am. Try not make anybody sick. <laughs> try not make anyone sick here. I'm probably in the way. i get that light out of the way too. Um, here we go with the back side. You've got your inlet, your outlet there. And uh, yeah, maybe a little bit of rust. or some buildup starting to go in, starting to come on board here. More of the 
what I'm considering calcium deposits there. But overall, it looks like to be in pretty good shape. Just curing my curiosity. I am not an expert on this. I would love to hear your opinions on what these slight buildups are. I don't think it's terrible, but, uh, but yeah, it's very, very interesting. I've always wanted to cut one open. All right, friends, so there you go. That's the inside of a well-used RV water heater. I had fun with this. Uh, cured, again, cured some curiosity and uh, hopefully answer some questions for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, share it with your buddies. It really helps us when you guys share the videos. It exposes the channel to people that may not have known about it, and hopefully they'll consider subscribing. See ya.